Epicurus was an ancient Greek philosopher who lived in the 3rd century BC. Founder of the highly influential school of Epicureanism, the teachings of Epicurus have both been misunderstood and caricaturized. Epicurus believed philosophy should be a practical activity first and foremost, and so it is filled with actionable advice on how to live a good life. In this video, we will go over four steps on how to live a good life, according to Epicurus. Without further ado, let's jump in. These four steps were compiled by Philodemos, an Epicurean philosopher who lived some two centuries after Epicurus himself. They are intended to be a neat summary of the Epicurean philosophy. In Greek, they are known as the tetrapharmakos, or four-part medicine. Step 1. Don't fear God. Epicurus believed everything was composed of matter and void, atoms and nothingness. Even the gods simply consist of matter. In the Epicurean philosophy, the gods are happy the way they are. They have no need or desire to interfere with the affairs of humans. The gods exist somewhere else, far away, and they don't bother us mere mortals. Therefore, there is no need to fear the gods. They leave us alone, and we should leave them alone. Step 2. Don't worry about death. Death, therefore... The most awful of evils is nothing to us, seeing that, when we are, death is not come, and when death is come, we are not. It is nothing, then, either to the living or to the dead, for with the living it is not, and the dead exist no longer. This famous quotation sums up the Epicurean view of death. Death is inevitable, but the dead have no awareness, and awareness is necessary in order to call something good or evil. It makes little sense, therefore, to say death is evil or to be feared. There is nothing to be afraid of, because when death comes, you cease to exist. Epicureans do not believe in an afterlife, but they saw this belief as a strength and not as a weakness. It means you're free from worrying whether or not you're going to heaven, hell or the underworld. Epicureans believed the soul dies with the body, so there is no use getting worked up over death. Step 3. What is good is easy to get. For Epicureans, the greatest pleasure in life is the cessation of all pain. The ideal, painless state of existence is called aponia. It is irrational to chase pleasure beyond this ideal state. This means Epicureanism is not about hedonism in the way that term is commonly understood. The Epicurean seeks to remove pain and not add pleasure. One way of removing pain, for example, is to eat food. But, on the other hand, splurging on a luxurious feast is overdoing it, even if Epicurean philosophy says it's okay every once in a while. As with most Greeks, the Epicureans preached moderation above all else. Therefore, the true Epicurean philosopher does not need much in order to be happy. A roof over your head, enough food to not starve, water to drink, and friends to converse with. That's really all that is needed for a good life. Those who seek pleasure run the risk of never being satisfied with what they have. Those who avoid pain, on the other hand, are always happy with minimal effort. This is a different mindset and it is the major reason why Epicureanism is not simply hedonism. Step 4. What is terrible is easy to endure. 
pain is generally either intense and short, or mild and chronic. Think of the difference between persistent lower back pain versus bruising your knee. The nature of pain is such that it's generally never both intense and long-lasting. This observation on pain is what underpins this final step of the tetrapharmakos. Pain and sickness do exist, yes, but nature has equipped us to deal with them. Usually, we worry more about the prospect of possible pain than we actually suffer from it. Like jumping into a cold swimming pool, the mental anguish is worse than the physical discomfort. There is no need to worry. Conclusion These are four steps to a good life according to Epicurean philosophy. We have already mentioned aponia, the ideal state of painlessness. But Epicureans also seek another state, ataraxia. Ataraxia is the absence of fear, the absence of worry, a state of tranquility and acceptance. These four steps are meant as gentle reminders on how to reach these states of pleasure in the Epicurean framework. Of course, there is much more to the Epicurean philosophy than what was discussed in this video. If you want to see more videos on Epicureanism, definitely let us know in the comments. Also, if you want a quick, easy read, you can click the link in the description to read a letter Epicurus himself wrote to a good friend explaining the main points of his philosophy. You can download it by clicking the link in the description. As always, a thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.